Hello and welcome back to another video. It's a really sunny and just a really nice weekend. So I thought I'd plan a little bike packing trip to the beach. Um, it's not that far. I'm only going about 40 miles today. Heading south of my house uh, through Totnes and then down to the beach. I'm not quite sure which one yet, but hopefully we'll find one with a nice place to camp. Yeah, and then just enjoy some time on the beach and then come back tomorrow morning. But it's just a stunning, stunning day. And it's, yeah, well, I'll show you. A beautiful evening. So yeah, it isn't that far, but I just thought it was such a nice day and it'd be rude not to go out on the bike and take my bivvy with me. And also I've just got a new Alpkit cloak bivvy, which is super small and super light. So I'm really excited to test that out and see how it handles bivvying out and camping on the beach. So yeah, all that to come. I've got about two hours until sunset so I'm not completely sure whether I'll make it to the beach before the sun sets but hopefully it will if not hopefully I'll get it before it gets too dark <laughs> Cute as that, little model house and station. just on the uh, Sustran cycle route that goes between uh, Dartington and Totnes which I've always seen and I've driven past I've never cycled on so yeah it's quite nice to do finally There's so much wild garlic here. I thought I'd take a little bit to have with my pasta this evening. Add a bit of flavour to, to it. My pockets will probably smell of garlic now forever, but it's worth it for the flavour. I've realised that these small cycle paths and the hills are definitely taking a bit longer than I thought. It's such a nice evening though. So many birds out and sun shining. It's pretty quiet as well so far. Whee! lovely evening. The sun's just amazing. About 25 kilometers away now and it's half seven. I've got an hour to get there before the sun sets which because it's quite hilly. Yeah I don't reckon I'll make but maybe by nine so hopefully it'll still be a bit of sunlight getting onto the beach. Yeah it's just been amazing little country lanes, cycle lanes, yeah, this is why I moved to Devon. <laughs> this 
is where the real steep hills come in. Now that is going to be a stunning sunset. I just went down the little hill into this valley and then my Garmin went into night mode which means the sun has officially set so I didn't quite make it to the beach for sunset but I've only got about 7k left to do so it should still be vaguely light by the time I get there but it is starting to feel a little bit cooler in the air and a bit windy so hopefully it won't be too bad. I think the weather forecast said it was only going down to about seven degrees, so I've got my warm sleeping bag. So I think it should be all right. Made it to the beach. What a wonderful sight that is. Good morning, just woken up to this lovely view. Yeah, I had a really nice night actually sleeping here. Uh, it did it did rain a little bit, around maybe between like three and five o'clock. It was a good chance to test out this um, Alpcat cloak um, in the rain, <laughs> which it was actually, it's, it's quite spacious. Um, I quite like the hood of it. And unlike my other baby bag, which has, has a drawstring, this has a zip to close it, um, which does take a while to get used to, because obviously you can't close it completely, otherwise you can't breathe. Um, and it does sometimes get stuck on the on the flap. Um, so yeah, so that was good to test it out. And it, yeah, it didn't perform quite so well in the rain as I had hoped. Um, you can probably see, you can probably see all the dark patches on the sleeping bag. It's always got wet, which I wasn't quite expecting it would, um, but I'm not sure if that's the waterproofness or just the condensation, because obviously I had to have the zip closed quite uh, a lot so the rain wouldn't come in, so it might have been condensation, um, that's something I'll probably have to test out on another time to see you know, if I have the zip more open, let more airflow, whether I still get wet or not, but it's, yeah, it's dried off now mostly. <laughs> Um, and it's super lightweight, which is good. This is how small the Alpcat cloak is. So it is, you know, and this isn't really that compressed either. So it is pretty small for a bivy bag. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty light to just put in your bikepacking bags and yeah, you barely notice it, it's there really. <laughs> so yeah, now I've got all of this speech to myself and it's a Sunday morning, so most people will still be having a lie-in. I might just have my breakfast, pack up, maybe dip my toes in the sea, and head back home.
I'm back on the road now. I've been cycling for about two hours um, and I've passed through Totnes. I'm going to meet some friends later um, in about two hours so I've been cycling as fast as I can to get back <laughs> in time. So I'm basically back now and yeah it's just been such a nice little overnight trip. Um, yeah camping on the beach was just really nice especially waking up to all the waves. Yeah so I definitely look forward to doing some more of those little like short overnight bikepacking trips in the next few weeks and months. Thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I'm so so close to reaching 1,000 subscribers which would just mean the world to me. So if you could do that, I'd yeah, really appreciate it. Until the next time, happy adventuring.